Go on, he's ready. Where? Uh, where is your mic? Nice to meet you. Is this your car? No, I don't. I, I, my car is here. I want to show you. First, take my card. Excellency. So Excellency said, Wow, you are here. My number one critic. You say, I've not done anything. Come and see what I have done. So he gave him official invitation letter to tour his project across the Timothy government. So we go around several places, places like uh, Boya and College of Agriculture. We've been to the Observer, College of Nursing. We've been to the Midway and then we see the city of competition. So many of that, and so I'm very sure he is impressed. So we decided to also visit the Agri Hall after we spoke with Chief of Staff. He asked us to also come here and see what is happening here. So that's why we are here. Here is Mega Comedy. And then we are the new Nice to meet you, Commissioner. Uh, my comrade, my pleasure. Mm, nice to meet you. <laughs> so, where I will love you, as you can see, uh, I think it's on live video. I see. Uh, the global, uh, those citizen diaspora are all watching. I see. So if you can introduce yourself to the whole world. <laughs> My name is Stephen. Uh, Commissioner Agriculture and Food Security at those states. Okay, you heard that, Stephen uh, Hikoya. So, those states agriculture and food security. Let's agriculture have, and food yeah. security yes so what is our position in terms of uh, food security right now uh, well i think we're on top i think we have done so much in the regard for food security first you must appreciate what uh, mr governor has done with regards to laying the foundation mm -hmm. Uh, you recall too that um, it's often said that agriculture is the catalyst for industrial revolution. So I've been issued from the day he came, he just said, listen guys, go and formulate policy, strong one, and develop strategy that will help drive critical enterprise, enterprise, enterprise crop that we have comparative advantage. You know, I went about that and we are here today. By the grace of God, I can tell you for free, at the first 65,000 hectares of oil palm for investors, because first you have to create the living environment for the investors to come in. Nobody wants to come and throw his money into a place that is not set enough. <laughs> you know, 65,000, we, we thought that was just all. But by the time the government saw what we had on ground, there was need to increase it to a, by another 40,000. That made it a hundred 
and 5,000 hectares being cultivated in a dual state at the same time. Mm. You see, what people will not understand is how does this translate to wet and job creation? You see, for the complete value chain for oil palm, from spotted seedling to harvesting and processing, milling and refining, you require at least 40 persons in that value chain for one hectare. So if you put that together for 100,000 hectares, you can imagine how much jobs this estate will create in no distance time. They are already employing, and they are, as they are expanding, they are employing more. You see, if you have stopped it, you have just been like, like that. You see, first we have to say, okay, what do we do? If you recall, I, I think you grew up in this town. There were so many potries from Sparta poultry to so many other potries that are abound in this state that have since long been abandoned. So, of course, after critical thinking, we came to the conclusion that most of their problem was value addition to what they produce. Of course, we go to, even when it's not festive period, you go to, uh, even in Pokemon here, you still see some Mercedes v boot loaded with uh, chicken and all that. We can't continue like this because they will farm and they begin to find who to buy it from them. So we knew that one of the ch major challenges was access to the right market. So we had to break that barrier. You know, you know, partnership with Hefa, Amo is now here. The, right now, if you go to Obagi, you see the governor doing the road leading to the factory. 10,000 processing bed, poultry bed per day processing plant. In where? In Obagi. Obagi. Yes, so through the same. Uh, uh, yes, no, no, not to not <coughs> one. In. No, Sapler Road, yeah. Where oh, yeah, 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 you have Obasui, Obasui Farm, that Obasui Secondary School, Itobaha there. You see where the, the construction, the road that, because what is left is found, and we have a grid that will provide the enabling environment, you know, give them access road, give them power, uninterrupted power using our Siomo line. But that's why they even went to that power corridor. So, Hopefully, by the time these are done, you begin to see farmers going back to their farm. Outside the fact that the cost of production, do you understand the cost of production of most of our uh, big uh, poultry beds and fish have gone up? But we also looked at look, we have the Moriban, the uh, Benefit uh, and Flame in Ewu, which of course Dangote had taken over to use as a trailer park. But Mr. Government intervened and said, we cannot have this kind of investments coming. And even our own ordinary source of making products for these farmers will not be converted to a, a trailer park. So he called, you know, he cried out and reached out to very powerful Edo citizen. And one of them took the initiative to buy it over. Today, as I speak to you, we have, really, we have brought back the 20,000 metric ton the random factory back to life, they are producing wow. uh, 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 yes, uh, uh, feeds, you know, and they have installed another 20,000 metric ton with a 5,000 metric ton capacity to, for fish feeds. So you see, what this has done is to open up the space, not just for poultry farms, but also open up the space for people to begin to, to farm products that these factories will need. I amaze is a critical requirement for feed production. If you look at what we did in this um, 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 planting season, when we flagged it off, we made massive distribution. Over, over 3,000 kilograms of maize was distributed free by this government to support farmers, especially in the senatorial district, so that if they have excess, they cannot sell. And of course, you can bet that they all have excess. You, you see, so it, it didn't just end there. So that means that we have also handled that value chain for the poultry. For the poultry. Thank God they say you were in a Oasis. Mm -hmm. It will need be particularly Oasis will need be. You know, where, of course, if you recall, the then uh, room uh, factory was almost turned into a firewood factory. <laughs> Do you understand? Where people just go and lock down because we were no longer producing. 
rubber, just like moribund, you know. So, but now you, you went there, you can see that estate is back to life. Being managed down now by a uh, rubber estate. New plants, they are now harvesting. And you know what it translates to? How many people are employed there? My brother, when we speak about revolution, we mean what we are saying. Is it the cassava initiative? I recall with nostalgia, I, I, when I was council chairman many years ago, in one of the security council meetings, I recall that, this is just for your information, that um, the woman leader did, then did say that um, there was crisis in homes because people were not able to sell their cassava or gary. So then we had to begin to look for who to take. We now found out that there was really no factor of, of taking cassava from our people. So we went about that. But this time around, we, we approached it from a different angle as a responsible government. What did we do differently? We created an enabling environment for these investors to come you know, and, and in, brought, brought in their factories. If you go to Odigi, I don't know whether you know where Odigi is, in Ovia is there. You see Bufio. Yes. Walking at the inside the high forest of Odigi, you see over 1,500 Nigerian Edo State citizens being happened in that place to, to, you know, to do, uh, you, you probably have one of the finest cassava starch processing plants inside the high forest. What did they use it for? Because we found that, listen, how do you bring in uh, uh, Dufi here? What does Dufi need to, because they, import, they used to import most of their raw materials. They have a Nigerian want to eat the Indomie. The most active ingredients you use in making Indomie is palm oil. The clear, clean, high grade palm oil and high grade cassava starch with some other. So, how do you bring these kind of people? Provided the land for them, give them the right incentives, and they came. Today, we can boldly tell you, do we have, in, have installed capacity of 1,600 uh, metric ton per day cassava processing plant? Mm. 600, 600 metric ton a day. I don't know whether you understand what yes. I mean by C. Yes. A trailer load is 30 ton. Oh. So they have a processing plant of 600 metric ton a day for starch. Functioning right now. It's been functioning since the last uh, two years. The one that just started last year, late last year into this year, is the uh, Green Hill Cyrus. Green Hill has a 480 metric ton cassava processing plant a day in a logo. I saddled. Saros Green Hills. Who owns Saros? No, it's not about who owns what. It's that these companies are here and are employing our people, creating jobs and opportunities. No, it's a direct question. And no, no, no problem. So, like I was saying, now this company is here taking cassava from our farmers and creating wealth for our people, creating employment for our people okay let me come back to the question i have not even started okay yeah i know i do i just want to do a follow-up on that uh i go by what you are telling me then i decided to ask through that question i wanted to know if government partner with the individual or the private sector to do it. that's why i asked who owns oh, oh, oh. this is a no, no, let, let me tell you how these things work you see mm, 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 you know before now mm. government was in the business of business mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Where we are now, it is globally, it is the private investors that drive the economy. Mm -hmm. So it's all. Well, yes, give them, give, them, give, them, give them the enabling environment. Not, they have other states to go to. Buffy <laughs> has a good state to go to. It's closer to their factory. But they choose to come here because we provide that environment for them. Okay. Because we see, you know, by the grace of God, we have given them land for their oil palm here, and they are cultivating in Odigi. They have over 6,000 metric hectares already cultivated in Odigi, there, for cassava. They have about 
uh, three or four thousand for cassava and then six thousand for oil palm we have also given them some space so now now listen simple economics everybody moves their factory to where their raw material is safer for them so what do you expect in the next 10 years or some few years let's not be too specific that they have their oil for their endomine they have their starch for their endomine so they will be manufacturing that in your it's, it's the same like just so the cost of transporting logistics to Lagos mm -hmm. will just begin to make them think why they say having that factory in Lagos made in a door in me of course that's what the commission has said <laughs> this <coughs> i don't know if you you, you just mentioned green cyrus just mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. they, they have one of the most refined not the newest kind of refinery for ethanol in the world one of the newest technology where in one of the categories of refining you can actually just search take and just turn into your car and drive off that's how great that 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 that, that company is and you can if you recall you know we have one of our because you mentioned that we see running with just now one of our strong leaders the economic leaders in this country he used to be the, one of the largest importer of ethanol in the country Nusak agency is well known. As we speak, Nusak is developing 1,000 metric ton a day refine cassava for ethanol refiner in the oh. Bay. Because it's from there. It's the largest in Africa. You, see, you can't talk about ethanol without talking Nusak in this country. No sir. No sir. Put it down. Put that name down. One will follow. Did, did you understand? So, by the grace of God, we have been able to attract this kind of investment yes. just because they, they trust the government. Oh. And you are with me. Mm -hmm. So, so many and so many more. You see, what we have just started doing, and we also saw the need. There's a big gap arising from this insecurity in the northeast. I mean, far, far north. And now we're not looking. How do we even encourage young men to do soft farming, low hanging, vegetables, bear, pepper, 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 tomatoes, and the rest, using greenhouse technology? And the government has just invested, I mean, supported that idea. Of encouraging and developing that sector before it leaves office. Greenhouse. Yes. You know what? What we need is transfer of technology. You don't have to use everybody to do it. Have, have the people been trained to do that? That is what we are doing now. We are supporting a company who has the capacity okay. to grow that industry deliberately. Because I know the greenhouse requires taking, you know, it's not just like ordinary farm. Because even the food. I have green farms in my farms. So I, 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 there's a plant to train. We, 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 we are beginning to, you know, bring home this technology. That's interesting. Uh, yes. So this place now, this agricultural. Yeah. This place we just came to now. What do we expect to see and do we need to know about this place? Well, there are two, there are two approach, you see, because we believe that if we must leave a strong legacy, we must leave a legacy to the extent that you don't have to go to, um, say, the College of Agriculture, for, I mean, not just the College of Agriculture, there must be a one-stop shop for everything agriculture, a one-stop, all the agencies are all here, a one-stop, from that, like I mentioned not too long ago, if you just look at the other end, the government is building what we call a referral hospital, vet hospital, for animals. Yeah. It, the, the, the building that is ongoing there now, you can see it's ongoing through the window. You see, what then happens is from vet to agri services to ADP to Life ND to Ramp to Fadama to even uh, SOP is here. We also have a um, 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 forestry commission because all these are within the agricultural ecosystem. 
So you don't any kind of training. For instance, now this is probably the first just behind after this building, you see one small red building. That's a, a plantain multiplication chambers, one of a very unique. We can multiply so many millions of plantain in a very short time for to, to, for those because these are crops we have comparative advantage. So we are very selective. We don't want to go all hog to say we want to be champion of all. So the government directed that we pick those crops that will have strong comparative advantage. Are you are you you, you follow? So these are some of the things we are doing. So from here in the agri hub, from the gates to this office. There must be somebody to attend to you as to your needs if you want to learn how to do poetry, the new poetry, um, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, center here. If you want to do piggy, if you want to do fish, if you want to learn how to plant plantain and vegetables and all that from horticulture too. There are people here who will give you a first hand knowledge. And some of the things you also need i.e. you are looking for new um, varieties of any of these um, uh, enterprise crops, if this is where you run to, because we are the ones here that do the feed trial. For instance, up to very recently, we had challenges with um, um, uh, drought resistant uh, maize. We had problem with drought in maize. We had uh, army worm in maize. So we have been pushing our research Instead of telling them what we are faced with, and by the grace of God, these guys have come to this year. We we're able to spread so much of this uh, drought and uh, amine resistance maize to our farmers. So, this is where you go to get what we call them um, um, trial. Uh, we'll do the first trials here, you know, adaptive and trials. Then from there, we'll now say, okay, it's workable. Then we'll now say, farmers, we have tried it, it's good, then you cannot have it. So it's a one stop shop for agriculture. But if it goes beyond there, you want to acquire further knowledge and develop your skills, in, you now go to the College of Agriculture because they are beginning to offer short term courses now for, to just, you know, um, uh, develop you to do the right thing. Because if you don't have the right knowledge, the set skills for any agri enterprise, you are bound to fail. That's why you have agricultural development program here. Okay, that's good. Fair enough, uh, Mr. Commissioner. Uh, how does this uh, impact our local farmers, uh, those individuals who are not uh, uh, educated enough to be using all this uh, technology? No, 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 no. You, you didn't get me when I was saying something just now. For instance, we have our main extension service on the feed. In fact, we're also going to grow more before we leave the office. You know, they report back to us what happens in farms. Like we have what we call, it's not only in Lagos Business School, we have Farmers Business School as well. Where extension service aggregates a number of farmers in a certain location and begin to teach them what they need to know with the enterprise crop they're engaged in. So from time to time, they do work up farmers business school. So coming to the question, how do our farmers benefit? I just mentioned to you with the feed report, we are able to say, okay, you have planted so much maize, but your return on investment was very low, i.e. maybe because of the drought, because if there's a dry spell, for instance, or maybe two weeks, no rain, because it's raining heavily now, like you can see. But at times you just have a dry spell. That dry spell reduces the amount of yield the, the, in the corn or in the maize or what, you know. So, we must say, okay, what do we now do to protect our farmers? Because they farm and this one, and say, okay, let's begin to look for the right varieties that can understand those their challenges. For instance, the cassava. The old stock they've always had was maybe the one that can give them between 8 and 12 ton per hectare. Today, if you look at the thousands of bundles we distributed to farmers for free this year, during the flag off of the farming season, they are team TME419. They have capacity to, you know, of between 35 to 45 metric ton per hectare, as against the traditional um, um, 8 to 12 ton per hectare. So by, seeing that, by that action, 
for the same space of land, you are increasing the wealth of our people. Because they now farm the same space and get almost three times of what they used to get. That is how our people are benefiting from, from, from this ministry. Uh, well, God bless you. Uh, as you can see, you see this car driving. <laughs> so this is very strong, very powerful. <laughs> it would have been different. <laughs> uh, one thing I can say, my father, my own biological father, is one of the largest farmers in the world. Wonderful. So, um, unfortunately, he has not benefited anything we say yet. Serious? Uh, yes. Sir. Okay. So who are the farmers benefiting from your uh, thank, you? Thank you. You you might be one of those very lucky few, you, your father, who gets support from his children, who will not want to bother stressing himself to come and look for the kind of support we give. I must thank you and celebrate you for making him proud. Otherwise, those that do not have the kind of means you have, they come and they benefit. What is your outreach to those who have no opportunity to come to the city? The gates are open. I, I recall you just walked in here without even trying to fill a form. I know, that is, that, that is me. <laughs> no, it's not I you. It, it is not you. There are no forms to be filled in most of the ministries anymore. So how did you promote all these government benefits to, to reach the, 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 the organic farmers, those that really do the job. Now we are talking about uh, private sector. These are, these, are, these are big, you know. No, 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 you don't, you know, you don't, no, 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 get it clear. This will come with your own technology and it trickles down. It, 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 it's, it's, uh, let, me, let, 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 me, let me help you with what you are trying to say. When you speak about the ordinary man, we have extension service workers across the 18 local governments. You do not have, it's in Abudu, you do not have to come to the Ministry of Agriculture to get extension service. Okay. Well, I will talk to you after the, after the, uh, we can work together and see how we can improve the outreach. Uh, no problem. We are, we are open to we knowledge. Are we are, that's what the government uh, Go there. Check. Yes. Was right. Yes, I mean, we are open to learn. I don't know. Family, I mm. well, so, that's what I do for a living. Uh, yeah, so, mm. uh, the complaints we are getting farmers are not getting assistance from the government. And with all this uh, huge uh, theory you are poured out, not in practical. Mm. Uh, so I hope you, I, I, I hope you understand the difference between theory and practical. Yeah, the practical. I, I, what I mean by practical uh, is like uh, I'll make an example just okay. like with my father right now. Okay. So, uh, these are benefiting. People. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going down to us. No, you don't understand. My father, we are, we are already in a room. I know. My father, we have made it comfortable for him not to. He can afford it already. Are you not coming? <laughs> <I'll be laughs> so we uh, we are chatting with the commission. I'm not yes. talking to him on the spot. No, we are here uh, to take it. <laughs> it would have been better as a cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope that's that's not. You are too busy. So no, let, 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 let me let me let me let me let me also support some of your thinkings. You know, you see, there's been so much abnormality in the past. It was difficult for people to assess government and government ministry. It's no longer so. You see. Out of you know trying to get to a certain um you know place you you know over time you now feel what am i going to do there we have been telling our people it is no longer as it used to be come come with your cooperative to fadama we have we have this in council chairman twice three times this year using the council most of the time, if we send these things through the normal channel, everybody say we don't see it. So we now ask council chairman, you are the mayor, the leader of that local government. And I can tell you, Newman, your old woman chairman, can attest to the fact of how many grinding mentions, pumping mentions, 
fertilizers, herbicides that we have distributed through to, to Rioma. Mm -hmm. We have pictures. There might be the picture. There might be, but you know me. I'm a very honest man. Mm. Uh, I will be meeting you, mine, about an hour, two hours. Mm. I'm going to bring this. And tell him that we've sent for that Martin to him. And, uh, it's not. It's not even yeah, secret. Myself, I'm going to send some people. Yes. To come down here and see how they can access you. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Uh, I love that one. The government. You know, after this other person here, and uh, there's nobody in Nigeria, in yeah. the country, mm. that would call his number one critic and say, "Go and check what I am doing." Yes. Call all my project. So you come back, give me a report. Uh, I'm not doing as, that. Exactly. So I'm what is that? So we are not car dealers. We don't sell monkeys on the train. <laughs> Yes. 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 We don't sell monkeys on the yes. tree. Yes. I just mentioned facts to you. Do you know some of the things we are trying to cure here? Deliberately, delibe some of our actions are so deliberate that it is even visible to the blind. I tell you, for instance, what we are introducing when we brought in ammo, it was deliberate. Because we have our traditional beds, what you call uh, what you call chicken, traditional ones. We have the um, the the hybrid, what's it called, the uh, boilers and all this stuff. So, see, so we notice Amo have a particular species that is a hybrid between a native chicken and the boilers, and we have done adaptive trials, and they are working well. So, we are not telling people. You rush, you know, you are looking, you say you don't have things you are doing. Why don't you take 10, 20, 30, 40 of this bed, allow them to roam. They grow bigger than a native uh, chicken. Do you understand? But, you know, they are, they are as rugged as a native chicken. So you will not have to attend to those uh, uh, clinical issues with those boilers as you are. So you don't have hybrid. So people cannot raise. You know, heavy and big, big meat uh, uh, hybrid and chicken in the houses at the backyard. So these are deliberate things to say, okay, create work for our people. And the more we are pushing, we have set up small, small cells of this around using the ammo and Haifa uh, platform. Mm. But before you know it, they will not have a ready market by the time we open by the grace of god i will not be too specific but i'm sure in the next couple of months before we leave office we will open that factory you'll see how many beds are coming from people from to that place these are they to sell one chicken for between 12 and 15 thousand naira, and before you know a man that has a, a man you think is a poor man and has about 20 you know how much that translates to that is a good so we have some deliberate policies we have made so it's not about uh, what we, I'm not telling you what we want to do since I started speaking. I've not said this is what we intend to do. We, I'm telling you what we started doing for so policy formulation and strategy to actualize all these things we have done, all because of the brain work. I just have one question so that we can start getting from Mr. Governor. Yeah, so that uh, I will leave my brother. When was the last time you visited farmers in each local government? Well, like I said. You must understand that we have extension service in all farming areas in Edo State. So I'm like, as the government has put me here, yes, I visit farms, including the one I visited last weekend in my village, to see whether the maize I gave to them is um, giving them the kind of yield they, they get. But we have, so just like you have a prime minister, you have small, small commissioners in every village that's attending to farmers. Well, I think if you are not doing this, I will tell you, it's better you do it sometimes. Uh, thank you. I just mentioned this last yeah. weekend to you. Try to visit uh, Oryoma, Oryoma. Your, village. your village. Yeah, because uh, let me tell you why. Let me tell you what you have not realized. Now go and mark it down today. In the next, you, do you know how far Ubo is from here? Yes. Check all the villages in Benin, in Edo South, that has the kind of activity without the university as you do. Why is this so? Why is this so? The kind of activity. 
the kind of activity as in Udo. Why? Because you have a Komo there. Because you have rubber estate there. That has grown a community that has, you know, think it's another small city waiting to blow up. But if you give yourself another 10, 15 years, only one that looks like a Yoko Nyomo or a Nibbe this kind, like, you know, that, you know, you just see, with the kind of estates that are coming up there, the kind of commercial activity that will begin to come up around that Oyomo or Nibbe Aziz will be marveled because of the new economy that we are pushed to that area. When you see people in rebel, I'm beginning to look at them. Who, who is going to employ your children you are sending to school if you don't bring these companies? Who is going to who is, who is going to help to bring life to this economy here? A company that has over two thousand people in its employment, you think they'll be importing gari from Lagos where there's where there's no land? They buy their gari there. They buy their bread there. They will buy everything they need to survive there in Oriyama. I see only one economy growing a hundredfold in the next ten years. I will hope so. We hope so. So anyway, I want to thank you for opening up for us. And then uh, I believe the governor and uh, you know they always watch when I'm out. It's uh, like uh, that's what you're okay, talking. so uh, the governor will be proud of you. And uh, and I want to thank him for for giving a job for a good new star six month. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, the transition is So, you are very smart. Uh, I'm going to come back here. I didn't get here by myself. The government did a selective process that brought all of us here. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, I'm going to come back here. Very small. So, guys, as you can see, you have a commissioner that uh, is not even. There's a question for you, sir, on Facebook. Okay. You yeah, say, how do people avoid partnering with the state government and agriculture? Well, um, first and foremost, we are talking about partnering now. If you noticed, if you looked at everything or listened carefully, you know, we create the enabling environment. You come and tell us what which space you want to play from tree crop to animal husbandry. Like for instance, today, if I tell you there's an opportunity for ranching in a do south here in Oredo, between Oredo, just let me use the word Edo South. We consume over eight hundred cows every day. We have the records, we are the vets. We are the vets that vets is mission sure that vets those cows before they are slaughtered. Eight hundred cows. Oh, eight, in a dose south alone. That's a business opportunity. Only a dose south. Eight hundred cows. And every day. Mm. That is a business opportunity. It is. If you come and say you want to take over any of the ranch in Igara, the government will willingly give it to you. That's a business opportunity. I want one. Come and talk to us. I will, I will call you. Tell it's me. a few. It's, it's a, it's a big gap. If I tell you, for instance, the market is not well structured yet, but on a monthly basis, we consume not imported fish, fish grown in a do state, worth over five billion every month in this state. This is a business opportunity. If I tell you today, building the greenhouse technology, a, a basket of tomatoes is worth, worth over 120,000. It's a huge business opportunity. So when you come, talk to us, we guide you. That's why we are here. So, for those of you who want to partner with the Minister of Agriculture, right? Yes. Yeah. So, here is the Commissioner. Uh, he's here and he's willing to work with the Doe in the Ashburn. If you have a 
hundred percent. If you come here, you will not attend to me. Just call me and I will help you to narrate it. It's my word. <laughs> and my word is my bond. Yeah, please. Uh, we need to we must play we come with a clear we need plan. to help the government. Yeah. The government cannot do it by itself alone. As you can see, for an amigo to be here calm like a corner. Uh, it's because of what I have seen. So if you look at this, it's a ocean more power. Yes. Right? Yes. Since we'll be here, there's no problem. I keep telling you, I'm being honest. You know, yeah, a lot of people are criticizing me because I'm not here in such a lot of I'm not going to make the mistake that I made years back. So we got to be honest to ourselves. Look at this office. Look at how it is. Normally, commissioner's office are not like I know. Uh, look at so, uh, I want to thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Thank you so much. That's not the job. Thank you and, so uh, much. You owe my community. We need a cassava processing process. We need one in my community. No, which one now? You see. You want to support your farmers with yeah, um, no, no, no. with a grinding machine yeah, no, no. and all and all that. I, I, I can assure you, not because you are here, if your community has not been affected, because we have a long list, but I can assure you we'll look at it. And if you come with a cooperative, you know, because we don't support single individuals, we, we support them in groups so that they share they share facility together. Yes. You know, so the rest are sure that um I just send send let, yeah. let me have them if they've not been captured, yeah. they'll be captured yeah. before this government leaves office. Send me and I didn't know that I'm already here. And they're gonna say, Oh, our son was was dead. Yeah. What what did he boy telling about if he's walking talking? Mm. No, 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 don't worry about that. So that is why the work can hear me. So I thank you and I appreciate your your kindness and uh, your truthfulness. I think it's being honest because uh, I'm monitoring bodies over it. Uh, 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 oh, God, uh, back, 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 before you know uh, you are sleeping. They will just tell you the way it is. No waste of time. Uh, it's agriculture. If you yeah, cannot you sure. cannot plant cassava and hope to reap uh, cocoa yam. Yeah, we tell you the way it is. <laughs> so, can we take a little bit of this building possible? Um, it's raining now, but I can show you around for the offices. We don't need to go out on the rain. So but yeah, I said that. Just for you all to see, you know. That's, yeah. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, we will. Okay. Um, okay. Come. Let's 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 start from. I wanted to start from the. Just come. Please don't mind the. Is it here? PM. Those are conference doors. Locked our conference room. Let me see whether you know. Yeah, because we got closed. Let's see what that PM is around. Is PS around? Yeah, come. For, it, it, yeah, is this office open? The conference room? Okay, they are closed. Yeah, come, let's go to the PSC's office. Come. Please just be mindful. Well, of course, you see, it's about after five to six. So. Yeah, everywhere close. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna come back. Yeah, please, please do, please, so, do, please do, please do. The place is closed, guys. So it's past five. Uh, it's okay, Commissioner. Yeah, please come. Mm. You've been to the administrative um, where we have all our um, agri service, vet service, all this. All these other services that are the main building, yeah. Wow, this is good, you know. Main building, they're just they've been around. Mm. What is still going on? You know, yeah, we can do training videos with 
there is the main administrative uh, block over there you know we have the tractor mechanization hub there where most of our tractors are and the other uh, experimental offices for poultry for pigree for that they are all just behind there for the rain i don't think we can yeah it's okay I mean, it's okay so it's actually right, my pleasure you. nice meeting you i'm gonna i'll give you a call there okay please do I. yeah you have my contacts already yeah i got it. you yeah. see we are paperless yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's, good, but, uh, it's difficult for the... No, but you already got it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because I know, right? I'm from West that, That's where we are. Yeah. We are not too different anymore. Yeah. You didn't see one single file in my office just now. You didn't take notes. No, everywhere I go. <laughs> so there was no reason to ask that. Everywhere we go is right now. So just imagine the cost of buying papers wow. every oh, month. Yes. Buy refill ink, buy that has given us so much revenue to do what we are doing. Yeah, we had many people now here, huh? No, so it's just that, uh, you no, know, we just have to learn the whole world know what it's doing. So, yeah, so that is it. Thank you, and, uh, thank you, my friend. Nice meeting you. I agree to come with you. All right, uh, thank you. So okay, uh, thank you. All right, guys. So that's a wrap for the day. It's raining. I have a lot of appointments. I gotta go. So cut it up.